Every safari has the moment in it which I think I'm about to die. This is that moment. Today I'm going back into the park to explore more of Kazaranga, but not by Jeep. This time I'm using one of the oldest means of travel, the elephant. Elephants have been used for centuries to hunt tigers. Now in these national parks, they can be used as a means of protecting the tiger. When I booked this safari, I thought the elephant was the only way to get close to the rhino. But obviously that hasn't been true, we've seen plenty of rhino just off the road. But since it was already planned, I decided to give it a try. First, let's address the elephant in the room, or the elephant on safari for that matter. Elephant rides are a very controversial subject, as well as they should be. Some travel and animal welfare groups, rightfully so, tell you to avoid elephant shows or tourist rides. They say to avoid any elephant that's sole purpose is to carry or entertain tourists around some place in Asia. But some groups list national parks in India as okay, since these elephants are used to carry security officers around the park, or to herd tigers back into their zones, as well as in the wet season, they'll carry much needed supplies out to the rangers. Around the parks you'll even see elephants bringing kids to school. Still, some take a harder stance and list all riding should be avoided. One of the main problems people have with this is the training, and it all comes down to this little device here called an ankus or bull hook. It can be used as gently as a leash on a dog or as a harsh instrument to correct your animal. From what I saw while riding, the mahouts use it as a simple guide. I can see no visible marks on the elephants from it. India says it tells its mahouts to never use it as a weapon. That being said, I wasn't there when these elephants were first trained to listen to people or carry tourists around. All I can go by is what I see. And for this group, the elephants seem to be treated very well. It can be debated on whether or not having a few people on their backs is too much weight to carry over the years. This video's description will have several articles on all these topics. So let's get back on safari. The English man in front of me was very tall and having a hard time fitting into a seat. So this pushed me back and made me have to practically do the splits to stay on the back seat of the elephant. That's a long 10 foot drop to the ground. A drop I didn't want to have to take. I pictured myself surviving the fall, but then I would be trampled by all these younger elephants just for fun. As our group gets further out, I imagine how crazy these old hunting parties must have been. I'm so glad the focus these days is on protecting the tiger and not killing it for sport. I also can't stop thinking about that famous YouTube video where a tiger comes leaping out of the tall grass and swipes a guard on the elephant. Yikes. We are seeing some wildlife out here, like this boar who looks like he wants to travel with us, and a few swamp deer. And now at least we're coming across a rhino with her calf. They don't seem to mind our group at all. As we continue on, I'm not sure I can feel my legs anymore. I think and hope we're halfway done. And here you go, another rhino. It's very hard to get good video or photos up on these elephants. I'm trying my best for you. And it looks like we're finally getting to the finish line. This for sure has been a safari experience I won't forget. Sitting in the Jeep, it's time for a quick snack before we go back in the park, this time in the Jeep. While eating, I get the feeling I'm not alone. Is it a tiger? Or just a goat? Well, goats. Kind of creepy feeling. I sit here eating and have the time to reflect a little on my ride. I know I don't really need to get on an elephant to see those rhinos in Kazaranga, so if I ever come back, I'm just going to stick to the jeeps and leave the elephant riding to the mahouts. Please read this video's description for more information on Asian elephants, both wild and captive. And thanks for watching.